Hello everyone and welcome to your weather forecast. Mr. G here with you once again as we talk about that stormy forecast coming up for this upcoming work week. We're going to still see more storms on the west coast at least during the first half of the week and we're going to see a little bit of storminess coming to the north northeast and the midwest and into the plain states so let's take a look at our current visible u.s satellite right now and we're seeing the latest atmospheric river bay storm there is that that stream of moisture coming into the california coastline you're seeing that there there is our area of low pressure over portions of the pacific northwest as this storm is kind of moving a bit to the north but we do have a second storm that is forming across the southern rockies and into the desert southwest and this storm you can see just about right there is going to be coming out into the midwest and we're going to be talking a bit more about that in just a second and we do have a little weak weather system across portions of the northern plains and into the great lakes and then our potential nor'easter type storm that we're going to see across a small portion of the northeast and new england as we head into the early part of the week as well and we're going to be talking about that guy so let's take a look at our current surface map and our radar and we're seeing scattered snow showers across the Rockies and into the southern Rockies we're seeing them across Arizona New Mexico and some rain showers coming on co onto the coastline of California so we, there's the arrival of our next Pacific storm but we're seeing nice dry weather across the Midwest and into the Northeast as well we're seeing that southerly flow so we're seeing a pretty mild week Weekend. All things considered for January across the Great Lakes and the Upper Midwest. So we're seeing that southerly flow. We are seeing temperatures approach 40 degrees here in Minnesota. And we're going to actually see rain in our forecast instead of snow. So interesting turn of events there, huh? And we're seeing it a little bit cooler across the southeast. A bit of a cold snap, but that's going to be short-lived. And let's take a look at those current temperatures across the U.S., and thinking of that cold snap, you're seeing how those temperatures are down into the 30s and then into the lower 40s across the southeast, even down into the Gulf Coast and into Florida. We're seeing those temperatures in the 40s. And, but we see our little bubble of warmth here across the state of Texas. That's going to be moving off towards the north and east soon. And we're dealing with our temperatures across the west coast. We're seeing those temperatures in the 50s across the southwest but up into the 40s into the Pacific Northwest and then that typical mountain cold across the Rockies there so not too much to uh, fret about in that region and let's talk about that forecast for today and today we're going to be seeing that rain shot that rainfall across the Southwest down in LA we're going to be seeing that rainfall across San Francisco as well and rain across the Portland area so a very wet day for the West Coast and snow across the Central Rockies so we're seeing that snow in Salt Lake City and in the Denver area we're seeing some rain and snow showers mixed and we're going to be seeing uh, a little bit of snow start to move and rain move into the Pacific Northwest into the Pacific Northwest we're talking about the Northern Plains into Minnesota and Wisconsin we're going to be seeing some wet weather moving into that region this evening uh, dry weather across most of the east and the southeast and down across the Southern Plains here we are as we take a look at our our graphical forecast for today that's what we're trying to say there and look at this storm here we got our western storm that's going to be coming down across the southern rockies that's going to become a colorado low and eject across the plains and into the northeast later this week and we got this weaker weather system here that's going to be spreading some mixed precipitation and rain across the uh portions of the Midwest down into the Mid-South here. So Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, gonna be seeing some rainfall as we head into the evening hours tonight and into your day on Monday. Mixed precipitation from Minnesota through the Dakotas and into Nebraska there. Gonna be seeing some mixed precipitation with a little bit of icing, some freezing rain possible across western Minnesota, southeastern South Dakota, and north central Nebraska. So be, be careful with that situation 
temperature. These accumulations are going to be very light, but it doesn't take much icing to cause some problems out there. And here we are to take a look at our storm that's coming on to the west coast that we're going to be seeing coming in this afternoon and through your day on Monday. So we got this colder storm, so we're not going to be seeing any thunderstorms with this guy, but we'll be seeing heavier rain down to the south here in the southern California and a little bit of mountain snow as well. That mountain snow is going to continue across the Sierra Nevada. So heavy rain for the Sacramento Bay Area and even down to Los Angeles. A little bit lighter accumulations down in the San Diego area. More snow is going to continue across the Rockies. So we're going to be seeing snow across the Great Basin and into the Wasatch Range of Utah. So more of that winter weather across those regions. And then here is our next uh, storm system into early next week. We're going to be seeing very wet conditions across the state of California. We're going to be seeing that rainfall continue across the West Coast. There is our jet stream taking a more southerly track as we move into this upcoming work week. All right, now things to change there. We will be seeing a change in this pattern as we're gonna be seeing a high level ridge take place across portions of the Eastern Pacific and we're gonna be seeing that high pressure ridge which is gonna nudge our jet stream to the north and uh, focus some of that energy into British Columbia. So we're gonna be seeing those storms moving to British Columbia but we're gonna be seeing, seeing what we call inside sliders that's gonna come down out of the Rockies and create uh, some some Colorado lows and Alberta Clippers so we're going to start to see a return to that at least briefly because those storms will return out on the west coast now here, here is a look at one of the side effects of all this rainfall is flash flooding so we're going to be seeing a lot of flash flooding up and down California from northern California down into southern California towards San Diego that potential for flooding and mudslides is also going to continue and here we are to talk about our flooding rains that we're seeing we're seeing that heavy rain today across in through your day on Tuesday, we're going to be seeing that heavy rain continue across uh, California, especially in Northern California. So that flooding, that flash flooding and mudslides are going to continue as well as additional river flooding and it will replenish some of the reservoirs. So that is going to be good as well. A bit of good news with some of that heavy rain. And then here we are as we talk about rain still to come, we're still going to see one to two inches of rain down in Southern California and some areas can pick up two to three inches of rain but we're going to be looking at lighter rainfall amounts across Northern California and that snow is going to continue across the Sierra Nevada. Now here we are to talk about that uh, snow out there across the Sierra Nevada. We look at that heavy snow across the Sierra Nevada, much heavier than we're seeing across the Rockies because of that orographic lifting. And this is the first big mountain range, so most of that heavy snow is wrung out over the Sierra Nevadas, and the rest of the Rockies get the leftovers, so to speak. All right, here we are as that storm takes a southern a dive to the south. So we're going to be seeing more snow across the southern Rockies and into Arizona and New Mexico. This here is the Mugion Rim. This is where you see those higher plateaus and you got the southern deserts. But then you go up to, say, Flagstaff or you're going near Durango or in Pueblo, Colorado, you see those big plateaus, that's where the muggy on rim is. So you're gonna to start to see that potential there for heavier snow in that region. And here we are now, as we move through this weather forecast, a lot to talk about now, I only have 10 minutes to get through it all, but we have the potential for a nor'easter that's gonna really only affect the immediate coastline of Maine and Massachusetts. So Boston might actually pick up a few inches of uh, snow with this weather system and then as we move through the day on Monday and into Tuesday we're going to be seeing a little bit more snow across portions of from Boston and through Maine and into northeastern Canada so a few inches of snow is going to happen with this storm system and then we have our Midwestern storm that's going to spread snow from uh, the southern central and southern plains through the Midwest and into the Great Lakes and over into the northeast a few inches 
inches of snow is going to fall from that guy. So that is a look at your weekend weather forecast as well as the start of the upcoming work week. My name is Mr. G. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.